If you've been listening to the Be Rad podcast this year, you know that I have been second guessing the role of fasting for healthy, energetic folks. Now, fasting offers a tremendous amount of health benefits. However, many, if not most of the benefits are incidental. For example, if you fast through the morning hours and it keeps you away from a crappy breakfast of high carbohydrate processed foods, that's going to make you feel better. Similarly, if you're suffering from some kind of gut dysfunction, even minor leaky gut conditions, and you extend your fasting period, that is going to help assist with your gut healing. Fasting also kickstarts that wonderful internal cellular detoxification process known as autophagy. And finally, fasting gives you a sense of control over your eating habits. And that's super important today, especially when we have this unfettered access to indulgent foods. But all these benefits are not inherent to fasting. They're just a consequence of fasting. So if we expand for a big picture perspective here, we can appreciate a different idea, which is to strive to maintain a status of maximum cellular energy at all times by consuming nutritious, easy to digest foods. And that's why I've switched my morning from a typical fasting period that I've followed for many years to now hitting a giant bowl of fruit, followed by a giant B-Rad super fuel, high protein smoothie with all my supplements and my liver chunks and everything going in there to be fully fueled to start my day. It's something to think about. It's a big picture perspective, rethinking fasting, and then using it as a tool when appropriate, but not thinking that it's the end-all strategy.